Okay, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make the bot say statements when someone joins the server and uh, have it include who invited who and how many invites they have and also how to make a giveaway that includes bonus entries and message requirements and role requirements and how that whole thing works. I'm also going to be kind of trying to state some problems you may be having and how to fix them or questions. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll just start off with the statements when someone joins the server. Um, first, let's run the help command. Uh, so the, if the bot isn't responding to you, um, then you must, you're either not using the right prefix or the bot can't read or send messages. To make sure you're using the right prefix, mention the bot and it'll tell you the prefix. Um, to make sure that it can read and send messages, usually that's because you're in a... Uh, private channel um, just add oh, let me just remove it so I can show you uh, add the invite tracker and then do read send messages and I'll be there um, but yeah so hopefully it will start sending messages after you check those two things but uh, so we'll move on help config message there's two commands to make those statements happen when someone joins is the config message and config channel um, I'm not going to go much in depth with leave and join or even show you that because once I show you a template it's pretty com pretty much common sense after that. Um, so, But I'm also going to tell you though, normal is when someone generates a link and uh, sends it to someone. Uh, vanity is when someone joins through a vanity URL which is only for level 3 servers. Bot is when a bot joins the server. No perm is obviously when the bot doesn't have enough permission when you took away permissions uh, when you first invited the bot it wouldn't have enough permissions to track the invite and unknown is when the bot can't figure out how the invite happened which is when the invite link expires as soon as it's used um, so just make sure the invite link isn't expiring as soon as it's used usually that happens if you do the right clicking on the user and do invite to server always generate links um, also for some reason people think that if you generate a uh, link a one-time link and have everybody just use that whoever messages with that link it's their link it's not whoever generates the link that's their invite so I don't know why people started to think that but that's just to clarify that so we're gonna do config message join normal um, there are whatever it's called there are um, uh, default messages for all four of those too so you most people just do normal and that's it they don't really do messages for the other ones but yeah so message uh, I like to use variables that are mentions because I like to use channel filters to see who invited who um, yeah because uh, you can just do in channel and then do mentions and then check the mentions um, has been invited by inviter mention oops it's my bad Inviter mention and now has inviter invites. Um, then we got that done. That's the first one, and then I'll do the config channel. This is the second command you're going to be using. Um, so obviously join and then invite tracking. Now that's done. Now it will always make statements now when someone joins the server let me show you um, see join the server it's been invited by a puzzle it now has one invite oh I forgot to I guess this is good um, if you want to edit a message you just reconfigure it I forgot to put invites at the end so there um, now it's edited and it will automatically delete this and it will add this when you do a new configuration um, it you can't delete messages um, when you configure a message you can only edit it them so just keep that in mind um, if you ever want to disable statements uh, do config enable let me run the help do the config enable and then you can disable statements through that um, also, to keep in mind, some people apparently like to use reward roles still. 
um, that's against Discord's TOS since it enables server advertising. So we disabled that. These are only from message messages. Uh, they're not for invites. Just to clarify that, um, if you ever want to reset the invites, um, just do reset invites or uh, reset messages. You only can do all of them for a specific user or the entire server. Um, that's because it would mess with the uh, whole ratio that we have set up here. Um, so if you do, if you if you mess with the regular, um, it's gonna mess with the leaved, and then your ratio will be all wrong. So that's why we only have you messing with the bonus. Um, also, to clarify what this is, it's a formula inviter invites. How we get this number is regular plus bonus minus leaved plus fake. A regular invite is just when someone joins the server. A leave is when someone joins the server and leaves the uh, server. A fake is when uh, a user user's account is less than three days old, um, joins the server, and then bonus is all configured by you. Um, you can do add bonus or remove bonus. Um, so yeah, what else is there? There is reset messages sync invites sync invites so to clarify what sync invites does it syncs all the invites that happened when the bot wasn't in the server but to clarify it does not track those new invites that just happened if they leave the server so just keep that in mind when you do sync invites and there is no two factor or two step to do sync invites as soon as you do this command it will sync all the invites and there's really no going back to that so Make sure you know what you're doing. Set prefix. If you're confused on what your prefix is and the bot isn't responding, just mention the bot. Um, and then do set prefix. And then your new prefix. Um, you obviously can just do set prefix. And just do your new prefix. But that's usually people who usually mention the bot because they don't know what their prefix is or forgot about it. Uh, set language. This is only for embeds. So. This stuff would be in French or Russian. We only allow three other languages, so there's that. Obviously, you can keep it in English and have your um, invite statements um, be in like Spanish or Russian because that's all configured by you. Um, let's take a look. Other stuff. So pretty much you can mess around with this, I guess. I'm not going to really go into depth with that. We've already talked about reward roles. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much everything. Um, if you ever want to, uh, I'm also going to talk about these commands too. Config settings. What that does is uh, when you set it to true, it takes away the role that you previously had your reward role. Um, if you get a new one, and then false would be you keep all the reward roles. It doesn't ever take it away. Uh, so and then config shows all your messages that you have set up. Um, yeah, so if you ever want to maybe disable that, I think I've already talked about that, but if you ever want to disable all of your messages, um, you can do config enable, uh, join, and run the help. I think I already talked about that, but yeah, config enable, and if you do false, the messages won't happen, and true messages will happen. And keep in mind, if you set it to false, and then set it back to true, it won't delete them, it will just keep them saved, so... Once again, you can't delete your messages, you can only edit them. Um, yeah, so then let's start off with giveaways, I guess, because that kind of wraps all that stuff up. If you, if it says that it can't track, which is an unknown, once again, the bot either doesn't have enough permission to track the invite, so have the default permissions. Uh, to check that, just go to the default invite link when you first invited the bot. Um, there's a description down below uh, to check the permissions that you must have for the bot um, and also what else is there um, any other problems yeah and if it says it can't figure out or uh, that type of thing unknown if the link is expiring as soon as it's used that happens too so if you have any other uh, like problems happening with the statements just join the support server and we'll help you out there but we'll start a giveaway G start uh, what is the prize let's, let's just do nitro uh, this is a very good example of what your timestamp needs to look like um, let's do five minutes
one winner uh, channel giveaways how many messages we'll just do 10 roll do new roll oh I never made rolls let's make some rolls I guess give me a second here we'll do new roll 1 that's the roll requirement and then we'll do new roll 2 give it 2 um, new roll 3 we'll give it 3 bonus and there you go you got your giveaway uh, if someone doesn't have the requirements which is 10 cent messages after the giveaway is posted or the roll um, it will show you it will uh, automatically remove the reaction uh, it needs manage messages permission to do that I think that's in the default permissions um, it's, if you don't have that enabled, enable that so you can remove the reactions. Um, it won't send a message saying, hey, you need to send more messages or hey, you need this role. Um, it just will remove the reaction. Um, if someone obtains one of these bonus roles um, while they're already entered into the giveaway, it will automatically apply um, to their entries. They won't have to re-enter the giveaway. Um, also, if they have both of the uh, role bonuses or bonus entry roles, um, it will add it. So let's say they have both of these roles, it'll, they'll now have five bonus entries. Um, yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of what you need to know about giveaways. Um, I can't really think of anything else. Uh, if you have any questions or any problems happening that I didn't specify. Uh, join the support server or leave a comment down below um, I have my own server if you want to join that I'll leave that in the description too it's just an Among Us server um, yeah so thanks for watching and I hope this helped uh, see ya